listen to Dr. D.K. Onukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Worldwide, on podcasts across the globe. Just search D.K. Onukoya Podcast.bossprout.com for the greatest pipe directories you can listen to. Search, click, and listen Dr. D.K. Onukoya's podcast. Messages that will turn your life around for good. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Leadership, innovation, creativity, pace setters, purpose driven. Join the rest of the world to be edified and imparted with deep insightful teachings and also get a chance to win handsome cash prizes on the Eagle Hour program. The Eagle Hour. Showing every Sunday, 7 p.m. on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and MFM Television. The Eagle Hour. Bit the best and be the best. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. There is a need to lift yourself off any valley and set yourself on the path of the next level. Next, next level. Join the Facebook Mid Month Prayer Outreach with Dr. DK Olukoya live to tackle, battle, and bring down every mountain in your life. 15th of every month, this 2024. Name of Jesus! 11 p.m. West African time. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. 11 o'clock. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Join the Great Physician Hour every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. with Dr. D.K. Olukoya and tap into the BAM of Gilead for divine healing with the Great Physician, Jesus Christ, every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. on all our media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and MFM Television. The Great Physician Hour with Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Be connected to be collected. Jesus is is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. For every Friday night, it will be Prayers That Move Mountains with Dr. DK Olukoya. 12 midnight WAT on YouTube. Subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Get deep teachings and be revived with our Father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, on the Revival Hour program. Showing on all our media platforms on Mondays, 9 p.m. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and MFM Television. The Revival Hour. A refreshing time for the spirit, body, and soul. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Join the Great Physician Hour every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. with Dr. D.K. Olukoya and tap into the BAM of Gilead for divine healing with the Great Physician, Jesus Christ, every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. on all our media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and MFM Television. The Great Physician Hour with Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Be connected to be collected. Jesus is is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Born great but tied down. I plug myself into the socket of divine favor. Possessing your possession. The Prayer Eagle. These are the books for the Eagle Owl Quiz for the month of April. Get any of these books from www.mfmebooks.com or any bookshop near you. Study and win cash prizes from 50,000 Naira and more. Quiz Potter will open 5th of May 2024. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. for the April Quiz. 
squeeze exercise at www.mfmeaglehour.com. Remember, readers are leaders. The Eagle Hour Book Quiz. Bit the best and be the best. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. From deficit to recovery, don't miss the April Facebook mid-month outreach that will bring increase and speed to your days. This message is packed with life-changing prayers. 15th of April, 2024, live with Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Let the glory begin. Clock, clock, clock in. 11 p.m. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. W.A.T. Name of Jesus! Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The theme for the April edition of the Gen 20 Singles Marital Congratulation Program is Marital Speed. This meeting will hold 27th of April 2024 at the MFM International Headquarters Main Auditorium, Lagos, Nigeria. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries will be ministering live. The April edition of the Gen 20 Singles Marital Congratulation, Marital Speed. 0800 WAT. This program will be made available on all our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Don't miss it and don't be late. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Ring 
Though his righteous purpose we may never know, yet we follow him. Forward, forward, tis the Lord's command. Forward, forward to the promised land. Forward, forward, let's the chorus ring. We'll shoot to win with Christ our King. Sound the battle cry, season. For the Lord, gird your armor on, stand firm, everyone. Raise your cross upon the holy wood. Roast and soldiers, rally round the banner. Ready, steady, pass the word along. Onward, forward, shout a loud as honor. Christ is captain of the mighty throng. Rise, ye children of salvation, hold a cleave to Christ. First, the scripture after me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. 
For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Kindly pray the following prayer. I suck my blood, bones, and flesh in the wonder working power of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I soak my blood, bones, and flesh in the wonder working power of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every invasion by disease germs. In the name of Jesus, I barricade my body from every invasion by disease germs. In the mighty name of Jesus, barricade your body from every invasion by disease germs. In the name of Jesus, holy. Burn all disease deposits in my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, shout this song very loud. Holy Ghost fire. Burn all disease deposits in my body to ashes. In the name of Jesus, burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say, Glory of Jesus, laminate my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, laminate my life. Laminate my life. Laminate my life. Laminate my life. In the name of Jesus. I silence the voice of sickness speaking against my life. In the name of Jesus, I silence the voice of sickness speaking against my life. In the name of Jesus, I silence the voice of sickness speaking against my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus immunize me from every infirmity. Immunize me from every infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus, immunize me from every infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything I'm eating or swallowing, oh, oh, oh. presently it walking against my head, will be destroyed no, 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 and be destroyed no, 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 no. by the power hey, of, of God the in the name of Jesus. Anything I'm eating or swallowing, presently oh, walking against my head, will be dissolved by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Be dissolved by the power of God. Anything I'm eating or swallowing, presently walking against my head, will be dissolved by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Be dissolved by the power of God. Anything I'm eating or swallowing, presently walking against my head, will be dissolved by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, my body resists and rejects every killer disease. In the name of Jesus, my body resists and rejects every killer disease. In the name of Jesus, resists and rejects every killer disease. In the name of Jesus, any organ in my body performing below expectation receives the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, any organ in my body performing below expectation receives the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In in the name of Jesus, receive the resurrection power. Receive the resurrection power. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout this one at the top of the voice. I shall not die but live. To declare the words of God. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. To declare the words of God. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but live. To declare the words of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. All arrows of infirmity. Say that again. All arrows of infirmity. Fired against me. Go back to the Sender. In the name of Jesus, arrows of infirmity fire against me. Go back to the sender. 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 In the name of Jesus, thou power of the wasters. My body is not your candidate. Hear the word in the name of Jesus. Power of the wasters. My body is not your candidate. Hear the word. Hear the word. Hear the word. Hear the word. In the name of Jesus, any curse of infirmity walking against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Let the curse of infirmity walk. Jesus, 
name Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Detoxify my body. Detoxify my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Drinking the blood of my owners. In the name of Jesus. Ah, drinking the blood of my owners. Die, 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 die. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Agenda of wisdom for our land. Be nullified with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Agenda of wisdom for our land. Be nullified with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say you that stronghold in charge of sickness and disease in our land. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus. Command them to fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. That stronghold in charge of sickness and disease in our land. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus to sanitize our land and cleanse it from every common source of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, we use the blood of Jesus to sanitize our land and cleanse it from every common source of sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen in Jesus' name. God bless you, brethren. It's time to share some testimonies from the partakers of this program from around the world. Our first testimony goes like this. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for his mercies, protection, and blessings to both me and my family. Indeed, the God of Mountain of Fire and Lord of Ministries is too faithful. To I want to thank God for adding one more year to my life. This is my first time partaking in the 70 days of prayers and fasting. And due to the prayers, the Lord has opened the doors of favor on me. On the eve of my birthday, someone gave me money. And on the day of my birthday, someone gave me money in dollars. I have come to return all the money to God who has done this things for me. And may his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Surely the Lord is in this place. Our next testimony goes like this. Jesus is Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life and that of my family for making my son's traditional wedding a successful one and granting journey messages to all the souls to their various destinations. I also want to thank God Almighty for saving my last son from sudden death. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And our next testifier writes, Greetings, Church. Surely the Lord is in this place. This is my second time I have been spiritually operated on. God, the greatest physician, assigned angelic surgeons to operate on the wrist of my left hand, where I have been having excruciating pains. The pains are gone now, and I am totally free. I have come to return all glory, honor, to the God of Dr. Olukoya. May God continue to bless you, sir, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And another testifier writes, Praise God. I would like to thank God of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries for His healing. I have been having headaches and severe pains in my right ear and feeling so weak. I joined the service online in the morning, and after Dr. Olukoya asked us to eat wherever we were having pains 21 times, I did, and the headache and pains vanished. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our next testimony goes like this. Praise the Lord. Our God is good and kind. God has been faithful to me and my family. Since I joined Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, my life is a living testimony. But I want to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil for what God did for me and my family with the mantle. On Wednesday, Dr. Olukoya asked us to put the mantle under our pillow. I kept it under my child's pillow and my husband's and I's pillow. I had a dream that my little boy was trying to vomit but just a little thing came out. When I woke up, I gave him mana water to drink and I prayed for him. After three days, he told me at night that his stomach was paining him and I prayed with him and he went back to bed. The next morning, everything changed. From stomach pain, I gave him medication and he didn't work. Immediately, I remembered the dream I had. So I took the mantle that I placed 
under his pillow Moses, and I put it on top of his stomach. Five minutes later, he started vomiting and stooling. After that, his body became fine and light. Thank you, Jesus, for not making us spend a dime in the hospital. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our next testimony goes like this. Calvary greetings. I have come to return all glory to God. I have had this back pain for a very long time and weakness in my legs. My lower back hurts. But when Dr. Lukoya stated that we should smudge the area where we were having pain, I felt some strength in my legs as I did this, and the pain in my back instantly subsided. I praise God for my remarkable recovery. Glory be to God, and I thank God for using Dr. Lukoya as a channel to reach all of us. May God continue to strengthen him spiritually and physically in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have been blessed by this program and would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly reach us with the details on the screen. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, MFM, is a full gospel ministry devoted to the revival of apostolic signs of Holy Ghost fireworks and the unlimited demonstration of the power of God to deliver to the uttermost absolute holiness within and without as the greatest spiritual insecticide and a prerequisite for heaven is taught openly. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries is a do-it-yourself gospel ministry where your hands are trained for war and your fingers for battles. Through your prayers today, your your lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name.
Stop! 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 Into the current and now shall be. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Lelukoya. You are most warmly welcome to the Great Physician Hour. An hour where God will touch you and meet you at the point of your needs. God bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. It's time to sing the anthem of this program. Great Physician now is near and hear the footsteps of Jesus. Shanna is near the sympathizing Jesus. He speaks the drooping hearts to cheer. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Sweet is Lord, his love song. Sweet is name on the Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear the footsteps of Jesus, he's now passing by, baby bum for the wounded, he didn't all who apply, as he said to the sufferer, who lay at the tomb, he said in this moment, Thou be made old, will thou be made old? Oh, come, we need suffering, oh, come, see, seek so. See, the life stream is flowing, see, the cleansing was wrong. Step into the current, and thou shall be won. Sing this song loud and clear. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who has given us victory. The rock that never fails. I'm hiding in you. I'm hiding in you. In you there is power. The rock that never fails. I'm hiding in you. I'm hiding in you. In you. Power that rock that never fails. I'm finding in you, I'm finding in you. In you, there is power. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke, he has given us a victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us a victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us a victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us a victory again and again. 
Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you for the great physician hour. Father, mobilize heaven to help us in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon us by fire, by power, in the mighty name of Jesus. And open our understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight we are going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. We have plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. It is important that you strike when the iron is hot. Don't wait because you have a short time to pray there so that you can be a candidate of the blessings around here now. And the blessings around wherever the sound of our voice is heard. That hates to see me laugh. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. The power that hates to see me laugh. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, arise. Oh Lord, be a miracle that will make me forget my past trouble. In the name of Jesus, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past troubles. In the name of Jesus, my captain Darabo Shenderaba. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers monitoring my destiny for evil. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Lay your right hand upon your head and call your name loud and clear. Likes it or not, our eyes are shut. In the name of Jesus, prophesy upon your life. In the name of Jesus, my capote setenge ke ya bo shenge raba, my ribo sapa mi katenge ya bo shenge. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have three strange words of prophecy for some people. I don't know who they are, but anybody wants to catch the overflow. She shout a sevenfold aggressive violent amen. The Lord said I should tell you that all the evil tongues rising against you shall end in painful failure. Not only that, not only that, the rewriter of history shall rewrite your history gloriously. We thank you. 
thank you Baba, for a time one, like this before you for rock, go by tonight one, do, do your wondrous work yes, you say, your yeah, mysterious yeah. wonders I will say, yeah, man, you your do. uncommon touch upon the life of your people in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we pray Praise the Lord. Tonight, Last we scratch the surface once again of to a very deep matter. Oh, it is called the mark you carry. The mark you carry. And that leads us into three scriptures. It is from these three scriptures we are going to draw out some huge implications. It is important you follow us as you look at these scriptures. In Genesis chapter 4 verse 15 Genesis 4 15 And the Lord said unto him Therefore Whosoever slayeth Cain, then just shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. A mark was put upon Cain so that he will not be wasted because he had already become a vagabond. It's not a physical mark, yes, yeah, but he's carrying it, and that keeps him secure. Secure to suffer his punishment very well. In Ezekiel chapter 9, chapter an instruction has been given for destruction. Ezekiel 9. I'm reading for verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the man, that sign that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes pierce. Neither have you pity. Slay utterly old and young. Both make and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary then they began at the ancient men which were before the house and they began to waste all those who did not have that mark in Galatians chapter 6 now verse 17 Galatians 6 17 this scripture is something you must memorize Galatians 6 17 for my that is let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ from these three scriptures we are going to draw some very serious implications which will now drive us into the press of tonight there is something known as spiritual mark a mark put upon the spirit man of a person Two, the marks are applied on the spirit man of humans you may not see them physically Three, the marks are invisible to the physical eyes for these marks are visible in the spiritual realm to God, to angels, to Satan and his demons. Five, these marks may be positive or negative. They may be positive. Or negative. Six. 
This marks can be inscribed by God, devils, and men. This marks may go from the cradle to the grave. Meaning that it can be put on the person from the womb. The person will be born like that without mark and may die with it. The person knows not what to do. A person may carry more than one mark. Now, a person may carry both positive and negative marks together. Ten marks may possess positive or negative magnets. The thing is on the person magnetized to him. Magnetized to him. Eleven. A mark could be made on a person's activities or properties. A mark may attract evil arrows. It will actually guide the evil arrows to the person. Thirteen. Powerful. Spiritual marks are generally on the forehead or sometimes on the hand. Amen. The marks of the Antichrist, for example, will be on the forehead or on the hand. Amen. The edge is the symbol of your destiny. Why the hand is the symbol of your labor, your work. Fourteen. The mark that each person bears determines what troubles they attract. The mark that each person bears determines what troubles they repel. Sixteen. The mark may brand a person for preservation or immunity. Remember that man that somebody threatened to kill and the night he had a revelation they were inside a friend's place and the man that wanted to kill him was outside pointing at a strong man to go and kill the man the strong man said no let us go for somebody else he said no but that's the person I want he said we can't touch this one they have the mark of the almighty upon them for the same reason Satan cannot devour everybody that's what the Bible says be sober be vigilant your adversary the devil he won't get about seeking whom he may devour meaning he cannot devour everybody some have the mark saying devour devour and some have the mark don't touch don't touch so the mark may brand a person for preservation or immunity 17 the mark may be an ownership mark an ownership mark I'm praying for somebody today. If the devil or his agents or your ignorant parents have put an evil ownership mark upon your head, by the blood of Jesus, I wipe them off now. It is the mark may secure your destruction. May secure your destruction. It now makes sense now. It makes sense this day. The ancient song they taught us many, many years ago when we first got born again. The song said, Father, put your living mark upon my life. Father, put your living mark upon my head. There is death outside. Put your living mark upon me. There is tragedy outside. Put your living mark upon my life. There is danger outside. There is sickness outside. Father, Baba, put your living mark upon my life. Baba, me mo sa mi ye, si mi la ra sa mi ye.
offense yes, you are to why they were asking us to be singing that song. The mark you carry may brand you as a prey or eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. This is a very serious matter. I met a man in London at the age of 42. He had divorced 13 times. 13 times. A divorce that you want to share your name as a mark. I've seen a lady, but you don't bring she has sewn wedding gowns 13 times. The last one she sold, she was in church, and the man was playing lawn tennis somewhere. And somebody said, ah, You're supposed to be getting married today. Said, How foolish girl, I'm praying again. But any mark of bad luck, any mark of poverty. Any mark of evil dedication on any life by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off now in the name of Jesus. The seven fold man. We were in America, in America like, and a lady was sharing the testimony with us. There was this man, a serial rapist, raping people and harming them. Africa, in Africa, the area Africa. where the man lived, he raped virtually all the young ladies there, apart from one. Oh, 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 oh. Then, this serial rapist got born again. He got born again in the prison. And he was sharing the testimony. He said that his only one girl that he could not touch. Because each time he tried to rush at her, there was always this giant man walking about with her. And this Christian girl didn't see any giant. That was a mark of her the mark of touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm I'm praying for that woman I'm praying for that man any power that is washing away the mark of God from your head is buried now in the name of Jesus a School of deliverance, there are about 70 marks that could be found on a person spiritually. Protection, immunity, offensive, hatred. Haven't you heard that they say some people have hatred in them? People just hate them for no reason. Demotion. Spells, bewitchment, bad luck, susceptibility to attacks, sexual harassment. I've seen a lady in South Africa who had been raped 48 times. It got so bad she now dresses with a mask when she walks about. Assassination. Anti-marriage. These are Max. Wrong accusation. You have not done anything wrong. But you will be the one they will accuse that you've done it. Profitless hard work. Disgrace. Shame. Embarrassment. Loss. Backwardness. Favor. Progress is going about in circles. Bad company, bad friends, sexual perversion, confusion, suicide, witches, wizards, wastage, royalty, poverty, holy dedication you see some people in the spirit realm with the sign of the cross on their heads evil dedication avenger blood see blood on some people's head 
you will know that that one has shed blood before. Slavery, infirmity, death and hell, explosion, blessing, blockage, punishment, diminishing returns. You put in a lot of things, you don't get anything out of it. Disloyalty, animal, vanity, regret, prison, hardship, insanity, being haunted, tragedy, cobwebs, salt, repulsion, exploitation. Defeat, rejection, depression, blindness, fire, stillness, injury, vain, death, outcast, restlessness, depth, bitterness. Agony, inconsistency, recklessness, emptiness, being dormant, hopelessness, extortion, frustration, false friends. All these are the marks you see in the spirit. How do people obtain evil mark? By decision. That is, we decided we want to get the mark. Two, by inheritance, your parents have it and you have it. And three, by carelessness, you didn't have it before you went to where they put it on you and they put it on you. One very strong way, and listen to me very carefully. Many may not enjoy or like what I'm going to say now. One very strong way by which people invite troublesome mark upon their lives is by defacing or spoiling the image of God. Defacing or spoiling the image of God. If you go to the maternity ward, when you look at a newborn baby you are looking at the image of God newborn baby when they come out in their innocence no holes in the air no holes in the nose no holes in the belly pure naked pure you are looking at the image of God. Oh, God oh, Any willful alteration to that image instantly invites the mark of the enemy. This is why the Bible is against cutting the skin, even for tribal marks. In Leviticus 19:28, it's against cutting the skin for decoration. It's against cutting the skin for incision. It's against making holes in any part of your body. It's against you tattooing your body. All those pictures of serpents and scorpions and flowers and all kinds of things you are writing on your body, you are inviting the mark of Satan. A mother dragged her daughter here about 10 years ago. She had tried to get married 10 times. She was a beautiful lady, but everything just collapsed. That her. And we started praying. And the Lord said, there is a tattoo mark on the bomb bomb of this woman. So I asked her, do you have any mark on your bomb bomb? She said, yes. So what is it? She said, I wrote Richard there. Richard. Who is Richard? Richard. So Richard was my boyfriend many years ago and we have promised that nothing will separate us we will marry okay where is richard now so in fact sir richard is on the third wife now that you have inscribed richard on your bum what are we going to do now so, sir, so i think it can be removed here was a lady she had covenanted her life by a mark 
of a man she never married. God knows why he made you a black person or a white person. None of us could decide where we are to be born. None of us could decide what sex we are going to be. Any woman attempt to change your complexion or skin color to that of a white man while you are black is a corruption of God's image. I've also seen a white woman trying to become black. You instantly invite the mark of the enemy. You thought you are just rubbing a cream to make you lighter. No, you are inviting the mark of the enemy. God was in full senses and he had a reason why he gave you the air of a black man. Any attempt to change it to that of a white man is a corruption of God's image. It invites the mark. That is, you conclude that the Almighty has made a mistake. You conclude that God did not give you enough air so until you buy air from India, from Taiwan, that they took from Temple of Idol and put on your head that you are not well dressed. It is an insult to God. And then you invite the mark of the enemy. The fact that your parents were sincerely wrong does not set you free from any bondage they are put on you. This is a serious matter. And the safest way to be free from evil is to remain as natural as the Lord in His infinite wisdom created you. Many call for troublesome marks upon their lives, putting unnecessary things on. Many people have not bothered to study the origin of the things they are putting on. That all rings are not rings. All bangles are not bangles. All chains are not chains. If God wanted your lips to be ready, he would paint it red from your mother's room. This is one way people have been entering to bondage. And therefore, beloved, the world consists of two groups of people. Those with the mark of God, those with the mark of the enemy. The Bible says I will differentiate between those who serve me and those who serve me not. Your parents drank all kinds of things when they were pregnant of you. That puts a permanent mark on you until you remove it. Today, we have prayers to pray. A brother, they were going for a business very early in the morning. 6 a.m. they are there. They rush to the wash area at that time to work as a team. And they come back. One morning, this brother got to where they normally gathered at 6 a.m. Next day, got there at 5.30 a.m. This anybody. He got there 5 a.m. one day and he said, I'm going away. Ah, ah, do you guys not wait for me? Why are you gathering at 5 when we are supposed to meet at 6? The black people in the team were, well, they could not talk. There was one uh, European amongst them. So we have noticed anytime you go with us there is bad luck so the day we don't go with you we do well as a mark upon that brother today you need to surrender your life to Jesus today you need to repent from every nonsense today you need to invoke the power in the blood of Jesus to wipe away any evil mark to wipe away any mark that wants to embarrass or disgrace you. To wipe away those marks giving that evil dreams to you. Yes, to wipe away the mark that, that is, is making you to masturbate and to watch but pornography. To wash away the mark that, that the enemy is using to harass your life. The Bible says, If the day that I cry, shall my enemies come back. This I know. Oh God is with me. The greatest hindrance to complete deliverance is the believer's unwillingness to surrender every area of his or her life to the Lord. The Lord told the Israelites, put the mark of the blood on your door post. Door post. Put the mark there. The angel of destruction is not interested in who is inside that building. His interest is that mark. Once there is no mark there, the angel of destruction goes there to kill you. If you are an Israelite and you go to greet your friend an Egyptian and they have no mark, that's a problem. So the issue of marks is very deep. I'm praying for somebody. Those powers that have put an evil mark on your business list, the marks are by fire in the name of Jesus. 
In case you are not born again, you are not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I am not asking whether you go to church. You have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. Whatever you are, why all eyes are closed? Raise up your right hand. I will say what I'm going to say now after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children. Who have joined this program, meet each and every one at the point of their needs, do great, marvelous, wondrous, and outstanding things in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Father, I thank you for those who have surrendered their lives to Jesus Christ in this program. Father, bless them mightily in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have surrendered your life to Jesus in this program, You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name and address, phone number, to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email with the details displayed on the screen, and we should be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Stretch your right hand forward. Like the hand of somebody who wants to receive something in your power. I want to pray now. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We stretch our hands to you. Father, that coal of fire. Uh, say that no, you no. ask the angel to put on the tongue of Isaiah. Let the angel place it Isaiah. on our palm now. Let the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, be deposited into our palm now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere these hands are touched. Let the mark of darkness thereof disappear. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to count seven. You will smite your forehead and do it very well. Even if you are developing headache, don't worry. If you are in this service, some time ago they cut away your hair. Do you do know where it went? Or they stole your scar for your headgear or your heart. Do it aggressively get yourself ready it is that hand you stretch forward you should use one the forehead one two see what is happening three four five six seven See what's happening uh -huh. now? Begin to rub your forehead with that part. Rub it, rub it, rub it. That head is on fire. Thank you, Jesus. You retain the hand on the forehead. And it's important that in these three prayers, in these three prayers, don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Mark of darkness! My head is not your candidate. Clear away! In the name of Jesus. Yes!
not serious business. We are not here to joke. See what is happening now. Uh, we'll I want you to be more aggressive. Shout this loud. Inherited evil mark. Inherited evil mark. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Basso Pontende Kayabosha. Rapa Tesatania. Boca Ponte Ketia. The river Saponde Kayaboshente Rabaka. Mana Cantenda Rabasaka. name we pray in a voice as loud as fire make this proclamation from our eyes first let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ from eyes first let no man trouble me for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ from henceforth, let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe you know it now. Seven hot times. Number one, let's go. Number two. Number three. Number four. Masse katonde ke yabo shandaraba. Rima potelaka. Number five. Number six. Silence now. Silence. Silence. Surgery is taking place. Things have been wiped off in the head, in the chest, in the legs. Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. Yes, he's going back to the senders. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand again, beloved. Father, let your anointing for healing, your anointing for complete deliverance, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, this is time to smite it 21 times, shouting, Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for our children who have joined this great physician hour. I thank you for what you have done for them in this edition. And I thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. I thank you for the victory won on the cross of Calvary. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that we shall be well with you. I decree and declare that no weapon form against your destiny shall I decree and declare that you go from sun to sun and from glory to glory. I declare and declare that by the time we gather in this program again, you get a bigger bundle of testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. See you again next time. Let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Sure. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For those who believe that the Lord has answered their prayers, let them shall seven Goliath and Jericho destroyed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, soon, yes, soon. Come be a part of the NFM International Headquarters social media family by liking us on Facebook, following us on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification bell. To be fully abreast of our programs, go follow, like, and subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here.